Get ready to learn something new about Illustrator. This is my top essential tips, keyboard shortcuts for using Illustrator CS5. As a matter of fact, these will work in most versions of Illustrator. So, there is some really basic stuff in there. There is some intermediate stuff in there and there is some super advanced tips in there as well. There's something for everyone. I guarantee you will learn something if you watch each of these tips. Welcome to Creative Suite TV. Let's get these top 10 essential shortcuts for Illustrator off and running. We're going to start with some basic ones and get into some more advanced ones. The first one we're going to use is just using the uh, any shape tool, whether it be rectangle, ellipse or whatever. As we're drawing with it, of course, very basic stuff, Option or Alt key down to draw from the center point outwards. That's what's going on there. Uh, Shift key, of course, to keep it in perfect um, a geometric shape, so a circle or a square or what have you. The other one, which is, uh, which is a great one, is as you're drawing something like that, to hold the spacebar key down to be able to move it around as you're drawing it. And that is what I think an essential shortcut uh, to be able to position things very quickly as you're drawing them. Okay, next shortcut, and this is a really handy one. If I just want a black circle, quite often the default is just white fill, black stroke. And I've got a really neat little tip for you. And to show you, I'm going to zoom in a little bit exactly what's, um, uh, what's going on here. Okay, so we have the fill and the stroke. If we want to switch those over, the shortcut is X on the keyboard or X on the keyboard. So we can say X to bring the, the uh, foreground color, um, X to bring it back. Okay, so we can, we can switch those over. If I want to get rid of if I want to switch that over rather, I can press Shift X and that will switch the fill and the stroke color over. And if I want to get rid of the stroke, okay, have no fill, that's the forward slash on the keyboard. Forward slash and that does no stroke. So if you want to fill, you do comma. If you want um, a gradient, you do full stop. And if you want nothing, you do forward slash and then there you go. If you want to go back to default, you hit D, shift X, X, forward slash and then you can color shapes in really really quickly like that. So there's some, there's some really, well they are essential shortcuts. Next one, I'm just going to reduce the size of this. If you want to duplicate a shape, hold down the Alt or the Option key and simply click and drag it. Of course if you hold the Shift key down it constrains to a perfect uh, line, 90 degrees or 45 degrees. So shift, sorry, alt or option, shift key down and you can duplicate. Now, if you want to make that step and repeat now, it will repeat the last move that you did if you press command or control D, 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 D. So that's command or control D and you can step and repeat things like that. Okay, so that's a, I think we're up to like, shortcut about seven already. Now, my next shortcut will do a magenta circle, shift X to switch it over. If I would like a copy of that right in front of the last one, we do command C for copy and command F for paste. Command F is paste in front and I can just move it out the way and there I have a command F for paste in front. The other thing that you can do is Command C, Command B for paste behind. And then if I just nudge that up, you can see I can paste something behind. So they're also um, very, very useful tips. Now, the last tip that I've got is for path drawing. I'm going to use the old uh, pen tool over here. It's been in Illustrator for donkey's years. But a little bit of a tip. Before you start drawing with it, select the direct selection tool, then select it. And I'll show you why. Because as I'm drawing along, I'm drawing some points and handles there. If I want to go back to the last tool that I had, the last pointer tool that I had, I hold down the command or the control key. I can then readjust some of these points and then merrily continue on my way. Okay. If I, let's, let's try that again. If I use the direct selection tool, 
I'm sorry, the regular selection tool, then go to the pen tool. As I'm drawing along, if I now hold down the command or the control key, I go back to that tool and I can only move the entire path around. And that's not really what I wanted. So select the direct selection tool first, then the pen tool, and then start your drawing. Okay, so here we go. We'll, we'll go um, draw a path there, draw a path there, draw one down here. Now I've got another tip for you. If you hold down the Alt the Option key, that gives you the Convert Anchor Point tool. You can swing those handles around like that and then continue drawing. Okay, and do another curve there, do another curve there. Again, Alt or Option key, curve it up and then you can bend that one back. Now I hold down the Command or Control key to give me my direct selection tool and I can make adjustments after it like that okay so I have the command or control key down I can go ahead and draw shapes like this to make using Illustrator very easy and you will end up loving Illustrator and that's why I've done this beautiful big love heart if you learn those essential tips and if you can't recall them all um, Watch the video again and remember them because if you know just those handful of tips, I think there's about 10 there, then you will be super fast at Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Creative Suite TV. They're my top tips for Illustrator power users. <laughs>